What's the crack lads? Welcome back to the channel and a lot of people have been asking me for this guy, this train and build Anguisa. So obviously this guy is a centre midfielder, he's a destroyer, he's on B rating this week and he released in the Napoli pack. We have already covered Cavada Donna, we will be covering the rest of the players in this pack as well because there are some nice players including Labotka and of course Oshiman. So this guy is a very very good player lads, we're going to show you how good he is. Depending on how you train him up, this is one of the most, I think one of the most complete centre midfielders that they have released in a pack, in a club pack. And I do think that they will probably release like a team of the year style players uh, pack for every league um, with the way that they're training for the ultimate version of these players. But as of right now, I definitely recommend Anguisa as one of the best players that you can get in the game from the packs, right? Look at his base stats there, man. He's got 70s in practically every single stat from attack, defense, and strength. You're talking dribbling, you're talking passing, you're talking speed and strength, you're talking a nice height, and you've got the destroyer play style. On top of that, you've got unwavering form. You've also got the player skills that you can see there. That unwavering form is going to be good. You've got 26 levels to go um, to train him up. And all of those player skills that you're going to see there in a second are just like ridiculously good. One touch pass, interception, sliding tackle, but then he's also got double touch, right? So when we're training him up, I actually think this is the best version of him. I've seen various different versions of him, but I do think that this is probably the best version of him um, when, you when you're training him up for the most complete, well-rounded centre midfielder, right? Defensively, he's not, I would say, solid enough to be like your only defensive option. Like, I would definitely play him as a CMF, um, similar to how I would play Goretzka, or how you guys might play Barella or somebody like that. If you have used, you know, Barella or you've used Bellingham, um, any of those players are definitely worth it here if you are going to be playing this guy uh, as well. But I do think having a dedicated defensive midfielder and just having this guy as an all-rounder, right? He's going to be an absolute monster, right? Because you've got also, as well as the player skills, as I mentioned a second ago, you have got interception and sliding tackle, which means that you're going to pick up different positions. Your AI is going to pick you up different positions. So we have gone with five into passing and dribbling and into lower body strength and then six into dexterity to get his acceleration up to 78, while also getting his balance above 70 and his offensive awareness at 70 as well. We then have pump 12 into defensive, right? And we get 91 aggression, 88 engagement, 86 tackling, and 83 awareness. The big thing here is I want to have over 85. So if you get to 85 with tackling and you don't want 91 aggression, you can just boost that up to 11 instead of 12. And then pump the rest of the stats either into aerial strength if you want to have a bit more uh, stability when you do have the ball or you're muscling off people off the ball. Um, or else you want to like boost up passing a little bit as well. I think his speed and his acceleration are more than enough at that, right? So it's not until you kind of compare other players, Anguisa, to other players that we're going to see here, right? We've got from left to right, we have got, in my opinion, even though we've got, you know, three DMFs in here, we've got three exceptionally good players that can control the middle of the pitch, right? So if you are looking for a defensive midfielder, like I would say that Declan Rice tracks very, very well. You've got the ultimate then, obviously, with Patrick Vieira. I don't think anyone really compares to him, or so you would think. And then you also have Shuamene, who we focused on last week as well in the player pack reviews, where we were talking about training guides for him. You can check that out, right? We've covered all of these players. But look at how Anguisa actually trains up here, right? So I have maxed out every player here has got 82 tight possession, and they've also got between 86 and, 80, and 97 tackling, right? We've also had the speed at about 78 and above. So that's kind of where the balancing has come in. But look where Anguisa kind of excels, right? His aggression is on par with defensive-minded Declan Rice. Um, his speed is, you know, faster than Vieira. His acceleration is as close to Vieira as possible. His physical contact is the same as Chuamene and Vieira. Now, obviously, it depends on how you train him. But his passing, his tight possession, everything is very close his tackling, everything is very close. Obviously, Vieira is going to be the ultimate, but his stamina, like pretty much everything you can see there that he's like the, the best of all of these players. Um, obviously, he's not going to be as good defensively as Rice. He's not going to be as complete, in my opinion, as Vieira because Vieira is just the GOAT in that role. But I, I definitely think that he is an unbelievable player if you do want to get him. So just to put a bit of a highlight on that and a bit of a training guide on him, try him out. Let me know what you guys think and I'll be back quite soon. Peace.